any players, not one single one of the Cowboys guys, other than maybe Zach Martin, are going first at their position between the Eagles, 49ers, and Cowboys. They're like, he's like, if you stack them all up, you're drafting an Eagles player or a 49ers player on offense over every single Cowboys oh, except for probably Zach Martin. Absolutely. I agree. I agree. Yeah, they probably they probably would say the same that. thing about the Detroit Pistons back in the day when they beat uh Shaq, Carl Malone, Shaq, Gary. Yeah. And Fair enough. Fair enough. A, a team's a team. Yes. You look at that team on paper, you're like legends compared to like really good players, but But I'm be honest, I don't wanna see y'all slumping. Cause that look like y'all Super Bowl. I think I think we actually played I, I, I think we actually I played bad. Oh, offensively, God, we offensively, we played today, bad. But, uh, uh, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. I mean, that's the truth. I don't want to see y'all get spanked by the 49ers. You're right. In the, in the divisionals, I don't want to see that. I mean, the only I mean, I mean, we're, I'll, I'll just talk the reality of what happened. Anytime people talk about the Cowboys, they talk about something that happened 20 years ago or some fantasy playoff game that hasn't happened yet. Well, so. <laughs> are y'all ready? No. Yeah. All ready? Roll it. Roll it. All right. Let's get right into it. trying to make it through this holiday. Happy holidays, everybody, and all that good stuff. You already know, you already know. Next, when you walk down to a basement, it's not just a basement. It's a Dallas Shrine. Dallas Cowboy fan, Dallas Cowboy real. My God, Zach Cooler. What's good with you guys? Not much, man. Not much. Living the dream every day. You already know. You already know. Last but not least, when I stick out the arms, you already know what I'm about to do. He runs through my veins, y'all. He runs through my veins. Dallas Cowboy fan. Dallas Cowboy realist. Y'all already know the rest. My God. My God. Zero T. What's good with you, fellas? Oh, chilling, chilling. You know, same old, same old. Blessed and highly favored. You already know. You already know. Well, everything coming around, holiday season's here. 
Paul the Shek as an administrator, as a teacher, as a parent. It's here, y'all. It's here. And with that being said, gotta do Michael C's check-in. If I didn't do Michael C's check-in anytime, this would be the time to check in with my people. Let's start first with the feisty. Miss Shannon, how are you doing over this holiday shopping season so far? I'm good, man. I'm getting the, the delivery guys busy every single day. I do not stand up this <laughs> at all. I get festive with movies and maybe going to a bar too, but I do not go out shopping anymore. I'm too damn old for that. I know that's right. I know that. <laughs> oh, and by the way, Adam, y'all do a banger last week. <laughs> You did. Uh, I can still be recovering. Time. I'm not quite sure. It's great time. I'm still recovering. I'm still recovering. <laughs> Next. <laughs> Nubian Queen. Yes, sir. How are you doing, Your Majesty? Ooh, wait, let me tell you. This is Russian roulette with the Christmas day outside on my porch. <laughs> I can try to get home every night when it's dark. <laughs> so the <laughs> packages are not seen and Santa is not discovered. <laughs> Ooh -wee. Last night was the diciest and I'm still waiting on two orders now from Amazon. Oh. So we'll see. I'm hoping Alexa doesn't snitch on me upstairs. <laughs> she is actually kind of getting like a little a little loose yeah, in her mouth now and then she's, telling everybody she's been the good house. yes she's been good she just shows up as notifications I'm like Alexa shut your trap shut it Sis, don't you say one goddamn <laughs> word <laughs> <laughs> my guy Zach cool let's go with the fella how you doing um not much, man. And they're not kidding about the porch and the uh, packages. Like my mailman knows I have extra trash bags shoved in the mailbox so he can wrap my stuff. But uh, <laughs> anyone who's not USPS just throws it in the puddle on the front porch, takes a picture and drives away. And then they go, we don't understand why it's damaged. I'm like you took a picture of it in a puddle. <laughs> <laughs> of course it's going to be damaged. Right? Oh. <sighs> Yeah, man, holiday season is frustrating at times, but it's a blessing. It's a blessing to be able to say to ourselves, we can give to everyone that we love at the end of the day. Daryl, talk to me, guy. How you doing there, fellow? Hey, I'm doing good, you know what I mean? Y'all make, uh, make me not feel as bad about my holiday shopping. After hearing y'all's stories, shout out to all of our parents that didn't have this ability. <laughs> Shout out to all of them because they had to get it done for real. And they didn't have an older brother that opened the trunk of the purple Taurus and told him, hey, this is Santa. Just want to throw that out there. My man ruined Santa for me. My man, my man opened the – Mike know who opened the trunk. Yeah. Mike, Mike know who's the little brother. Yeah. He ruined Santa for me. Just throw that out there. My God. I, I will have to say, he's not lying. Don't worry, Makai Nico, I am not going to do it to you. I <laughs> promise you, I will not do it to you. But at the end of the day, when it comes to this holiday season, it is a blessing. It's a blessing to sit back and enjoy it with our loved ones and enjoy it with the people that we love, like with, with you guys. I enjoy this holiday season, us doing Epic Perspective for this Christmas special. It comes down to it. Ah, oh, man. Ho, 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 and a bottle of rum. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> With that being said, Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Happy holidays to all. And we'll be back right after this. Introducing W Energy Drink, the ultimate energy drink. Packed with natural ingredients and a powerful kick, Dubby keeps you energized and focuses without the crash. Try to be energy drink today and experience the true power of en energy. www.w.gg. Click below for the discount code. Use coupon code Michael C. <laughs> Amazon Prime didn't have no pool. 
Now Amazon Prime got pulled. It could be way better. Better, Yo, games. Better, 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 better games than that. Do you think when they paid that like three billion dollar price tag, they're like, we're gonna get the second string quarterback for the Chargers, or the <laughs> third string quarterback for the Raiders? Right. Yeah, they're Amazon's like, going back to the table with the NFL in the all season. Like, bro, that that contract didn't work out. They're like, <laughs> who, also, who is Easton Sick? That's who's starting for the Chargers. It just showed up in my watch. Somebody. I was just about to say, game. bless you. I didn't know if you sneezed. Yeah, that, that's what it says. Easton Sick. I, I've never even heard that's of you. Hey, um... We're back, we're back, we're back. You already know what it is. Like we'll see. This was the light over the mic. Ah, I'm going to change it up, change it up a little bit. This is the, it is the holiday season. It's the holiday season. I usually say what caught your eye in sports, but what do you want for Christmas? Let's look at reality and the big old fat guy coming down the chimney. Let's go across, let's go around the room. First, let's go with Miss the feisty one, Miss Shannon. Mm. What would you want in reality for Christmas? And what would you want the big fat guy to come down and give you for Christmas? Oh boy. I think in reality, I would like patience. Um, I think that's the biggest thing, especially during the holidays, man. It gets so hectic. And the kids are just off the walls. They want to be out of school. They want the presents. They want to be paid attention to you 24 7 and i think i just want patience during this holiday season uh and beyond from santa i would like a new suv preferably navy blue tan leather interior mm -hmm. um just all the bells and whistles let's see the sporting yeah let's see the, the, the sporting version mm -hmm. you, you i want something i want something nice with a big red bow on it you, just you got to be specific with your prayers. I like that too. <laughs> she got the whole thing down. She know what it looked like in her head. She's like, it got a blue, it got a blue gear shift too. Stop playing. Stop playing. Do you so know you, I have you, patience you, when you, that car is not out there? I've got to have patience. Hey, hey re remember when you ask for patience, God will only give you opportunities to be patient. Uh, uh, yes, everything that, that you very, said, very like, linked together in that. You went with patience. Then you just went, I mean, girl, when I say you, you went way out there, you were like, oh, give me the car. Let's <laughs> go. Not, let me get the car. Hey, we we said reality versus power car. That's what I want. The $50,000 car. I ain't mad at you, girl. I ain't mad at you. Next. Ba, 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 ba. Ba, 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 ba. Nubian queen. Get it there. What do you want for Christmas in reality? What do you want that big fat guy to come down his chimney to give you? Uh, let's see. In reality, I, I am, and I'm hoping he gives it, that I get the chance to sleep and turn my alarm off mm. uh, until January 3rd mm. for no reason other than I don't have to get up. Mm. Mm. <laughs> you deserve it, too. Yes, it. like I think the only thing we'll be steady with is like I'll brush my teeth and ensure that I am clean. Other than that, like we're time to eat, chill, catch up on movies and whatever. Now, what Santa Claus could bring me, real talk, he could bring me a quarterback. If he could bring <laughs> me a quarterback, and if he could maybe bring me um an offensive line, I I would be forever grateful I know if that. that's what he decided. Um I don't necessarily need a Ben Roethlisberger. I don't need that. I don't have to have that. But I could take a Detroit Lions Jared Goff right now. I could take that. All right. That would be good. Yeah. Or like a Charlie. Then Mack. I could see eleven wins. We could we could get a fresh eleven wins. We got seven off trash. All right. All right. Give me that. I got eleven. All right. <laughs> Back to my guy, Zach Cooler. What do you want for Christmas, guy? In reality. And what do you want that big fat guy down the street? 
chimney down the chimney and get you, buddy. I'll have you. Reality is a healthy 2024. The wife works in the school. The baby's turning two. That's when everyone catches everything, and I really don't want to be dealing with that, especially after, you know, two years of COVID, and now you got everything else coming down the pipeline. And uh, if we're living the fantasy life, it's about two foot tall, silver, you throw it in the air, you got to beat the best team to get it, that trophy, that's all I want. You know, I I, I had to go through the uh, painful two and, Jesus, 13 fantasy season. So I could uh, hopefully, you know, garner a Super Bowl trophy. Oh, and since you're oh, hiding there. from it, I'm gonna say, oh, I'm gonna there. say, since you're hiding from it, what, what you're hiding from there. is, yo, Captain, you know, one person I saw throw that trophy, and he was freaking wasted. That was Tom Brady. Yep. He yep. was yep. wasted. And threw it. I don't know. Here, here's what I'll say. Other than Tom Brady, you ain't throwing that trophy. You are hugging that oh, trophy oh. like it is your first love. You ain't never. No, we're just hoisting it. We're just hoisting I would, it. No, no, no. If Dak and the Cowboys win that trophy, they're throwing it. I guarantee it. Well, and they're just going to be like, it doesn't mean that much to us. That's what they're going to do because they're going to pretend that they're going to get it every year. Oh, and, gosh, since, and, since, and since you're hiding from it, Michael, <laughs> what caught my eye in sports is all those Eagles fans just went so silent. So silent. And instead of talking about the game, they talk about Otani's two million a year for ten years with six hundred and eighty million deferred for twenty years. The next Bobby Bonilla day is gonna be sixty-eight million dollars a year. That's what we're talking about instead of the Eagles just getting Kadarius Tony's offside was a bigger deal than the thrashing that the Eagles got. <laughs> I'm just saying. Ooh. I, I really game. wish you guys could see what I'm doing right now. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Right now, I'm in a straight jacket right now. <laughs> I just got out the cuckoo's nest after those two weeks. Mm-mm. That Those two weeks showed us two things. Well, a lot of things to be honest. Number one, I I'll have to I gotta use this Bart. Bart Scott said it best. Your defense can't even stop a nosebleed. Number two, Daryl. Was Nico calling the plays? Because those plays look so daggone basic. I knew what was going on. Before they even snapped the ball, there was no motion on offense. They were literally like they they were so predictable; it was ridiculous. We need to get back to where we used to be: ground and pound, do what we do best. But if you can't get that defense off the field, there's nothing we can do. Period. Mike, it comes down to the fact that the Eagles loaded the six shooter spun it, and shot themselves right in the foot and said, the ref screwed us. You drop that ball when someone strips it from you three times on your own half. That that ain't the refs. That ain't the refs oh, one bit. That's I'm blowing not, toes off. I'm not. Gilmore, I'm not, Gilmore, not, Gilmore big brother, A.J. Brown. Oh, I yeah. can't blame the refs on this one. Yeah. This is literally us losing to ourselves and y'all beating us down. There's nothing else we can say. If you're an Eagles fan and you want to sit back and say this is an excuse, this is an excuse, and this is an excuse, and the ass whooping wasn't the wasn't the final result, you a daggone fool, man. Daryl, Daryl, tell me what do you want for Christmas? In reality, and what do you want that big fat jolly black guy coming down the chimney to give you? Talk to me, guy. Uh, me, me personally, you know what I mean. In, in reality, what I want is uh, you. You always feel like when when December comes around, like there, there there's a higher spirit of happiness, a higher spirit of grace, a higher spirit of appreciation, a higher spirit for just doing for one another. That that feeling, that energy, does not have to be limited to December. Carry that same energy all year. 
the ability that we have to just pull up six, seven hundred when 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 we got to buy presents in December, we can have that ability to do the same thing in any other month for somebody that need it. You know what I mean? How far a, a coloring book and a pack of crayons could go for a kid. You talking? We we could we could change a life this time of season. It ain't about the presents. It's about the presence. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna let I'm gonna let I'm gonna let that marinate. I'm gonna let that marinate. Right. With that being said, can't say it no better than that. We'll be back right after this. Uh, week 17, week 17. That means we're close to the end, y'all. We're close to the end. And that means without mama, you already know who is taking those full game parlays. That being said, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just run through the four winners of week 17. First is going to be the Niners. Next, Cowboys, then the Eagles, and finally the Bills. Those are my four winners on my four game parlays. And with that being said, we'll be back right after this. Ah, we're back, we're back, we're back. You already know who it is, Mike will see. The source of life over the mic. Ah, it's about that time to shout out and ride out. Let's go around the room real quick there. Let's go with the feisty one. Any shout out? Uh, just shout out to all the parents uh, who have prepped for 30 to 50 days, and it's going to be over in about 10 minutes. <laughs> you know your kids love you. Just <laughs> hang tight. Uh, that is my shout out and to everyone. Happy holidays, happy new year. Um, feel blessed, feel loved, and just feel it all. There it is. There it is. Nubian Queen, any shout outs? A uh, shout out to all of those making lemonade out of lemons this holiday season. Um, doing the best you can with what you got. Um, as Daryl said, it's not the presents, it's the presents. Um, so definitely shout out to everyone who's doing as much as they can with as little as they've got, for sure. I know that's right. Zach, any shout outs? Mike, shout out to all those that need to hear it. You know, you're doing the best you can, like she said. And tomorrow will be better, and the next day will be better if you want it to be. All right. Daryl, any shout outs? Uh, I just wanted to send a quick shout out to uh, the, the the host of this podcast, my brother, Michael C. I notice and I see all your hard work, bro. You put in the work in, the universe will open itself up for you. I already know. I love you. Appreciate you, guys. Appreciate you, guys. Thank you for tuning in to Epic Perspective, where we gave our epic perspective and perfect world. If you have any thoughts, questions, or concerns, email us at the one, the number one skybox at gmail.com. It's Dr. James Foster, it's the feisty one, Miss Shannon, it's Zach, and it's Gerald P, the pool that runs through the burning, and it's me, Michael Z, the talk of life, over the mic, now, until next time, you already know what we do, but I want to tell you, happy holidays, and have a happy new year, now let's make this epic! Happy, happy holidays. holidays. Happy, happy New Year. Year. Happy holidays. Merry right, Christmas. Guys. Happy New Year. Guys, I love you. Love you all. Y'all be good.